working on my next project. It's gonna be really awesome. We're making all the cards here for the epic level deck of many things. <laughs> We've got a deck of cards with a gold back here as well. And it'll look good. And it'll play good. I wonder if you can tell. <laughs> it'll be so good there. Wow. So we are working on our next project here. The epic level deck of many things. Yeah, like it uh, says inside here, I don't know if you want to read it, but uh, yeah, the deck of many more things has come out and all that fun stuff, but it uh, we, we need to still make the epic level deck of many things. Oh man, I could prattle on about this. Like, uh, you know, I was kind of dejected about making this uh, when I heard about the, uh, you know, book of many things uh, coming out and all that stuff. But then uh, looking into all that, it has this thing called the Deck of Wonder, which is basically a low level deck of many things, which is kind of nice. You know, nothing too permanent, nothing too crazy, didn't meant for like level one to five type of things. And then that kind of got me thinking, we, we need to kick up the uh, plus 20 level deck of many things. So that's what we did. I showed it at one point or another in the past, uh, this kind of uh, write up of it I made like somewhere in 2023 or 2022, it kind of got at the bottom here. You know, they're written in 2022 sometime. And uh, so I've kind of finalized all of the uh, details of it. I've posted it on Facebook and stuff there. But it's uh, more or less like the deck of many things, but, you know, just kind of cranked up a whole lot. And uh, <laughs> a few kind of random things. Just four werewolves attack at random. Ah! <laughs> you know, fun stuff like that. Summon 1d10 adult red dragons to fight by your side. And uh, so we're basically just making that right now. And I was debating. I was debating. Because I didn't want to use the same names as the regular deck of many things, like, uh, you know, Uriel and Sun and Moon and all that fun stuff, because it just, just didn't feel right. Some of them are changed more or less entirely and stuff like that. And uh, kind of going back to the Zero E uh, deck of many things, there I, uh, oh, don't have that, uh, Zero E deck of many things. So I wrote that directly on the cards themselves, and uh, yeah, I basically figured, you know, I kind of want to do that again, because I don't want to come up with new names and stuff like that. It just... Maybe we've got a few kind of random scrap cards. They're like kind of squeezing the text into there type of thing or whatever. It didn't, didn't really sit well with me. So, we're going to make it out of these gold cards. I am right now kind of taking all of this text here. And I kind of basically sizing it up so that it fits onto a uh, card and, you know, getting all the spacing and everything like that. And then we've got kind of all of our scrap cards here. I uh, sanded up all the ones that we need here. And then I uh, sand it up because, you know... It, yeah, this has a whole lot of color on top of there and you can't really read it. I've done testing on this with a zero E. But uh, so we send it up a whole pile of extra ones so I can basically do uh, test writings of all these and, uh, you know, just kind of make it look good and everything before I do the final version. So we're going to keep on doing this. It's really awesome. We're going to finally get this item cranked out here and it's going to be fun. So remember, you can always solve any bad card with a wish spell. Anyway, oh yeah, yeah, we got the indestructible snail meme. Oh yeah, that's a card. <laughs> And uh, awesome. So, it sounds a beautiful day, everyone. We will keep on working on this. And we will talk to y'all tomorrow. Meow.